what's up everyone welcome back to my channel i have a very good session for you this is a recap for the last two weeks of october um for every trade that we have in live trading sessions and also analysis channel wins losses break events and i'm gonna show you all trades before and after so stay tuned let's get into it start i'm just gonna let you know that um the reason we had um uh, we didn't have it for the last week because um number one we didn't have quite a lot of setup that fully played out so um what we have today for you is basically both of the weeks simply because a lot of them played out into the next week or um you know it was the analysis that was sent but the entry was the next week so we're gonna start by losing trade first gonna show you the losing and i'm gonna show make sure for you to see all of our losses are maximum 30 pips and i don't think any of them maybe one of them uh, on gbp usd we had 30 pips stop loss but that's the max when we lose 30 pips and we always try to keep it smaller if we can but we don't want to also get a stop wanted on something that we are right. And um, that's one of the reasons that um, sometimes we can get with 10 pips, but we get in with 20 or 22, 30 pips um, to make sure we are all safe. Now, this one was Euro NZD. Um, we had the sell basically on Monday. Um, I'm going to show you in the winning sections but then we try to buy it also as a midweek reversal which didn't play out and it continued to came back down that was a 25 pip loss and it kind of took about i think two hours for us to get you know stopped out then we had gbp usd yes we had 30 pips too so gbp usd with 30 pips stop loss this one the one thing about it was that we wanted to see price come down stop onto this 1.3050 and then push up and price exactly did that came up to this area but then came back and hit our stop loss around here you can see it was um i think this week that they came um i'm not sure exactly where it was because this is two different time frame if i'm not wrong no actually i am wrong so it was around here yeah it came up to here and then um came back to us so it was a 30 pip um i didn't secure not even break even so i assume everybody else did the same thing so that was a gbp usd that didn't play out so let's move to the next one nzd jpy this one was one of the you know one of those trade that we got in instant drawdown and almost instantly hit our uh, stop loss we had a 20 pip stops and the candle closed with 45 pips a bearish candle when we think when we thought it's gonna go up we learned our lesson because we predicted the consolidation i think um you see from the w formation that we were talking we knew that this is a consolidation and also we had a family meeting of DMAs which is also a rule of consolidation but I'm a human too so I called this trade and didn't play out so we learned our lesson that's negative 20 pips we had cat JPY this one also um, completely went against us and that's actually before um, so we thought it's gonna it formed the w formation made this support turn to resistance in a downtrend so we were thinking that this is gonna push up but it actually followed that basically trend line i'm not gonna say this was where retail trader get their money because i could do better i went against dma and this was also another lesson for me to learn it's all good you will see later why it's all good because the amount of pips when we win it's just insane that was about losses we get to break events this was a gbp aud trade 
This was sent by um, Neo, my mentor for the UK. And for me personally, this pair was in consolidation and I didn't call it or trade it, but he took the trade. It went about 30 to 50 pips in profit. And you can see the stop loss wasn't that big so he was in break even and called the break even as well so that's one trade then we have AUD USD this one also um it's break even in terms of analysis but it wasn't break even when trade was playing out because um you see in before we called a buy when it was around here we actually wanted to see price go down here <clears throat> and trap didn't happen then we decided, you know, it confirmed to us that it's about to go up. And in here, we took entry. Price went up about one to three in our favor, broke the high. So um, I personally didn't take any partial profit simply because I wanted to, I want them to see this level first. But I was in break even and then price completely shift before um, reaching there and fully came back down so that was a break even then we had now we're getting to winners so just to calculate the losses in here that's one two three and four losses that was maximum 30 pips right and break evens are break even and immediately AUD JPY sent by Elvin one to seven risk to reward all the losses are back, right? Even if losses are not back in your break even for any reason, there would be more to put you up in your account. So AUD JPY, he wanted to see basically um, push down to trend. Well, you don't have the explanation here, but the explanation was to stop hunt people, stop on the sellers, induce buyer, and the sell entry from this zone and that's exactly what happened came down well created a new trend line didn't exactly touch the trend line um at least what i draw because i didn't have elvin's chart but it came to the zone on friday also hit it on monday again and then pushed all the way back down 460 pips then we have Eurocat. This one was um, one to five, but in tr in trying to get this trade, we had one attempt that hit us, um, like a stop us out. So it's one to five, one thirty five. Starting from here, all three TP <clears throat> was hit. We had the TP one hit once. Then price came back down. We had a loss and then went for all other TPs. Um, the move from here also was called during live session that it's about to go up and continue the basically finish all the TPs. Then we have Euro GBP. Um, this was currently running 70 pip on the weekend when I took all these photos. Right now, um, I believe it's almost to the TP on our previous London session also on um, New York session we also call another entry um, in middle for another 80 pip to the downside so this is 70 pip secured basically before week ends on this pair it would be about one two three with the 70 pips and then we had Euro JPY 240 pips one to nine um, I'll show you some testimonial at the end for this um, particular trade where um, actually some of the students, one of the students passed the FDMO challenge using this call, which um, he was very happy. I was happy too. So this was a easy call, basically no drawdown, pushed all of it to where we wanted. And that was a one to nine risk to reward. So you see any kind of losses um, trying to catch, you know get the entry or even in a wrong trade a mistake or simply trade not working and be like a losing you can get all of them back if you stick to your plan because 
those losses, if you follow the same plan, will give you this type of wins, which is a DMA hack method. Then um, we have Euro NZD. This was called, um, you see, we had the losing one in the first slide when we tried to basically buy this pair to the high of previous week as well. But before we lose in this pair, we had a one to eight from Monday, um, a retest entry that we wanted to see after stop hunt to DMA, which exactly happened. And then um, we also called it in the Tuesday London session and it just pushed all the way down for 165 pips to the TP zone, which was one to eight because we took the entry in five minutes. This was also taken live. Um, and also the analysis was by Neo um, GPG UK. Um, then we had GBP CHF. This pair is, a, is in a massive consolidation and as of now, it is still is in the same consolidation. Um, but the moment we called it in the, that is a trap sellers, we also called the exact entry as you can see here. Price gave us a one to seven with 160 pips. Um, amazing trade to the, you know, resistance up there, which we wanted to see. This is a macro um, trade. The TP for this analysis is 900 pips. It is still running. And we believe this consolidation is trapping sellers and i'm not sure um if today had any movement because i didn't check this pair for today but we'll see i'll update this running straight in the upcoming um weekly recaps the next one gbp jpy this one also is running this is 200 pips down um we call it also in a live session also in the analysis channel it was a great buyer's trap. All the reason was their textbook trap. And simply, it's playing out very good. We had USD Canadian. I'm aware that this is completely turned down. Um, so at 295 pips, 1 to 14 risk to reward. Our TP3 was missed by about 3 to 4 pips. And um, I had it for 307 pips, I think. So I think maybe 10 pips or 11. It missed the TP, but um, the alert was sent that they got to close. And after this, price completely reversed and came all the way back down. That's what we wanted to see. I didn't see the sell coming because I wanted to see um, a better trap also it was election so we are not trading it we're waiting for the result um this is actually the night of election i'm waiting for the result too but i decided to record the video meanwhile this was a really good trade we actually called this one right here and also right here for an entry personally i had three losses trying to get entry in here you see all these arrows here these are some buys that I took and I got a stop hunted. I got all my losses plus some more um, back from market. But I'm just saying, so you can have a great analysis, but your trade management can make you lose. I followed all my entry criteria. It didn't work for three times and in the four times it worked like a magic. So it's very important. That was just a piece of nugget right there. Next one, USD CHF. This one also um, is running and I think it came down a little bit. Um, we also called the close on TP1 for 80 pips. It was one to five. This one and USD CAD. And also Euro NZD was three trade. We call it live at the same exact second that Euro NZD was the losing one. And these two were the winners. Now, we're getting to the cryptocurrency. We also called Bitcoin um, at the start of October at a price point of um, 10,900 about, um, sorry, 10,200. 
I also had analysis from 7,000 to 10,000 and this was just the second part and I'm pretty bullish on Bitcoin not as of now but overall I think it's a starting a big bullish run so this was 32,000 pips on Bitcoin worked perfectly it spent a couple of days um trapping people as a below this trend line at our entry but personally i didn't use any margin or leverage to trade i simply bought whatever i wanted to risk i bought bitcoin had it on my wallet i was just watching the value goes up this is a really good way of trading bitcoin especially if you can have macro analysis like we do um, and that can help you simply grow your money so if let's say you have a macro analysis and you think it's gonna go up so and you have some money that you want to put in your trading account that was a way to i don't know make so much more depend on how much you want to deposit just simply by holding it for a couple weeks and trust me you probably couldn't make better results on forex and you would better sitting letting that money sit on your wallet and let it grow so this is one of the way i trade so i want to risk x amount of money of my account buying bitcoin i simply withdraw as a bitcoin to my wallet and then i just let it sit there once it's over which is actually at fourteen thousand. I simply deposit that back to my account so profit was there not in the history of the accounts but it was just extra money on my pocket that's a good way you know to do it you don't have to use leverage all the time especially on crazy pairs like this same goes for you know Ripple, Litecoins and US 30 we all, in the previous recap we showed you the before which hit the TP for 550 pips. Um, that was that's a screenshot of the all TPs hit. But immediately after that, we send this that we can see more down moves for this one. I'll update this message with the chart and new TPs. We got into a session actually after that. Uh, the TP was here, and we also mentioned that it is gonna come up to DMA, which exactly that's what happened. And then the other TPs that we had here gave us the total of 2,100 pips, which would be 1,550 for this week and 550 pips on um, previous one. I'm really proud of this analysis. I called US 30 back to back on two sell and buy previously. And it's I'm really happy. I used to struggle a lot in wanting to trade this pair so badly but i simply couldn't read it but now just easy let's have the pip count we had overall five losing trades uh 155 pips the wins overall was 35,055 pips which gave us a net of 34,900 pips there's a reason they call me golden pips generator i guess um if to break it down there was 1390 pips on forex there was uh 1550 on indices and 32000 on cryptocurrency pips is pips especially on cryptocurrency you can't blame me and say you know um this is not 10 dollar per pips it's not like i'm trading usd mexican or usd um i don't know czar to tell you that you know that's 2000 pips or 20000 pips and the pip value is like nothing this is 10 dollar per pip so it's actually a very valuable pair to trade same with same with indices so these are actually really good results i'm very excited to what it's about to come we're just starting this is our third week um we are getting used to this live trading personally i used to be much more focused on what i do and then come back to the chat rooms and talk but now it's much more uh, interactive with other traders and simply giving the same results to the traders also i'm proud of myself personally 
these are also some testimonials from you know members we also had a pool up there you can see um we had a really good we had out of 96 people watched or saw this 54 watt and 45 rated our analysis channel excellent you can see um we had the students that are seeing better pro progress in their own trading simply because we are giving them exact reasoning and timing and everything basically um also one of the good rating wanted to be excellent but he touched it accidentally <laughs> um we had um busy mom that is good because she's not missing this trade and read it for yourself and that's what this is the one that completed the ftmo challenge using the euro jpy trade i believe that's it for today i hope you enjoyed and learned something new make sure to like subscribe and hit that bell button so you know when i upload a new video let me know what you think in the comment section and if you want to know more about our analysis channel or live trading session there is links down below that you can click and see um, if you want to sign up or not it's up to you um, also we have another link that it, it is going to give you everything that we have to offer for free free community free book um, free course so make sure to do that <laughs>